son of a bitch! <laughs> hey, 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 what is going on here? It's Fam Graham. I just can't win, and I'm doing it all by myself. I just wish Steve would contribute for once. You know, if I was your husband, I'd be proud to contribute to our Fam Graham. Really? Are you kidding? I'd post pictures of the meats I'm smoking in the backyard. I I'd have you take a picture of me at Kenny's Lobster Shack where I'd put a crab claw on my sweater sleeve so it looks like my hand. I'd write a caption like, the operation went great. God, that'd be the funniest thing I'd ever seen. You know, this is embarrassing to admit, but I've always dreamed of having a family. Like, like a son who looks like Timothy Chalamet. A, a, a house on a rocky beach with a view of a foggy lighthouse, you know? It, it's, it's like I always say, I, I just want to live, laugh, and, hell, I don't know, love. I thought I was the only one! You deserve a real husband, Deb. Like a tall, handsome guy that plays center for the Houston Rockets. Thank you! Or, I don't know, maybe an old beaten-down guitarist of a new metal band. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. But I think Steve is insane not to be a part of your online presence. I would flaunt every second of it. <laughs> That's so sweet, Lars. <laughs> hey, come here. Shh, 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 How's Famgram going, hon? Oh, like you care. I do care. Bullshit, Steve. I've been busting my ass trying to make a name for this family on Famgram, and you haven't contributed one comment, one picture. You haven't even given us a like. We're the laughing stock of the internet, and all you can do is sit there like a schlub and ask, How's Famgram going? Get out! You can sleep in the yard tonight. But my feeble skin. It's nighttime. There's a full moon out there. Ah! Ah! Fine. There's no time to explain! Steve, what is going on? Sit. So you know how I've been in here night after night for the last six months trying to come up with a perfect presentation for CrackerCon? No. Well, I've finally done it. Deb Hornsby, I'd like you to be the first human ever to meet Royal Cracker's new mascot. <laughs> Captain Cracker! Oh, wow, that really shows off your body, Steve. I know. It's also designed to withstand 450 degrees of heat, the exact temperature our crackers bake at. Seems a little unnecessary, but okay. Captain Cracker originally hails from Earth, but a space mishap sent him deep into the galaxy where he landed on planet Cractus. Fun. Which was inhabited by ruthless native savages. Oh, oh. But Captain Cracker, with his supreme intelligence, and... dismantled their feeble customs and forced them to assimilate to his culture. Oh, I don't know about that. Allowing him to reap Cractus's natural resources to create the universe's most delicious snack, Royal Crackers. Well, what do you think? Uh, it seems... It's great. I thought so too. Dennis and Snacks has outshined us for the last time because this year, with our brand new innovation, mini bags, we're primed to bring the house down. Oh, yeah. So smart. It's you can't miss. But of course, in order to do that, we're going to need one kick ass presentation. That's why this year, I won't be the one presenting. Oh, oh my God. Smart, Steve. Know your weaknesses. A wall is only as strong as its loosest brick. Now that's a metaphor. It's about time we utilize my stage power, Steve, because I came up with the perfect idea for the presentation. This is the Cracker Cannon. It's got shut the f up and eat our crackers written all over it. Ah! Ah! Oh, okay, all right, sorry, I, I gotta dial it back. All in favor of me doing the presentation this year, armed with this bad boy, say Cracker Cannon! Cracker Do you think you could help?
help me out over here? Help? Wow, Deb, that's rich. You couldn't even speak up for me at the meeting. Now you want my help? Thank you. I've never laughed so hard in my life. Oh, Steve, Captain Cracker was not the brilliant idea you think it was, okay? You didn't like the suit? Matt, cover your ears. That suit has been dominating my sexual fantasy since the moment I laid eyes on it. It was everything else that was the problem. What everything else? Uh, the origin story? It's wildly problematic. You're just not hearing it right. The indigenous people of Cractus didn't know what was best for them. Captain Cracker showed them their true potential with his superior mind. Oh, okay, you know what? I'm out of here. Maybe I'll go find one human being around here who isn't constantly trying to make me feel so small. Great! You're just gonna leave me here with your incapacitated father and our useless son? <gasps> Calm down. His ears were covered. Matt, you can put them down now.